A powerful voice in Idaho education is speaking on the future of learning for our children. Local News H Rachel Fabby tells us what State Superintendent of Education Sherry Ibarra had to say today during her visit to Idaho Falls. My choice, my choice, my choice. All the way from Coeur d'Alene to Southern Idaho. No more masks. Masks in schools have been at the center of a heated debate. One that Superintendent Yabara says should be more centered on the community as a whole, not just the individual. Well, I, I think what we need to do is respect the wishes of other people. And, you know, what I've told everybody is, is follow the science. Um, you know, they, the science behind the mask is that it protects you and it protects others. But again, we have to be respectful of other people's choices. I'm seeing students masked. I'm seeing some students not masked. And what I'm seeing out of the students is they are being respectful of other people's choices. I saw a teacher masked, while I've seen other teachers not masked. But there's other issues that the debate on masks have been overshadowing, like school funding and recruiting teachers. The budget uh, re increase that I requested uh, mainly has two parts to it that I'll speak about today. Um, the first one is to attract and retain and reward our best educators. I tell everybody the most important um, person uh, in a child's uh, educational career is that educator in the classroom. And so uh, a large port part of the budget goes towards uh, teacher salaries and also um, those classified salaries. That includes positions like custodians and teacher aides. The second part is optional all day kindergarten. We have approximately 66% of our incoming kindergartners uh, not prepared for uh, a lifelong uh, education. So we want to make sure we're closing those gaps early. Uh, and so one of the largest asks in the budget this time is around optional uh, all day kindergarten uh, for those at risk learners that are coming in not prepared uh, for the next 12 years of their education. Yabara also gave a shout out to school districts throughout the state dealing with staffing shortages, saying they're working to attract more teachers. In Bonneville County, I'm Rachel Fabby.